very much for coming this evening. I know on a beautiful and rare summer evening in Seattle, we have many other things to do that have nothing to do with politics. So I do appreciate your support, appreciate your time. Some of you don't know me as well as others, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of my background. I'm an attorney. I'm licensed in four states. I passed and took the bar in California, New York, Hawaii, and Washington. I've held elective office in Hawaii, and I served as an appellate level judge for the New York State Labor Department several years ago. My legal practice has specialized in healthcare, in hospitality, as well as finance and real estate. You have your vision, and you work towards your vision, and you get as much input from people as you can. People who disagree with you, people who agree with you, but you know, you try to get different viewpoints giving input, and you go. You just do it. <laughs> it just seems so hard when you're it's working hard. With I mean, there are nights of tears on your pillow. Marcia is an amazing person. She connects with people. She is very, very talented. She has a law degree. She speaks several languages. People don't realize all the assets that she has and that she could bring to many, many communities. She's an amazing person, and we need her in politics. A lot of my issues are national, international issues. Years and years ago, and I thought this would be interesting. I learn a lot and really get grounded in state issues. And it's been fascinating. Wherever I've spoken, I talk to people. Invariably, their major issue is something I knew nothing about, whether it's a particular dangerous highway. It's very interesting. Brad Owen, my, the incumbent, is now the longest sitting lieutenant governor in the entire country. He's finishing his third four year term. But you know, you don't want people in anything for too long. You lose your edge. You want to speak new ideas. Oh, and I'm just so tired of this one party state, like you said <laughs> in your speech. Well, and I think. The push-pull of the two-party system is what we're lacking here, which is why we're all talk. We don't get anything done. How long have we been talking about replacing a viaduct? I went to Shanghai. China is a, you know, a developing country. I could get from the airport to downtown in eight minutes on a maglev. <laughs> I can't get across Lake Washington in half an hour. I mean, I take the bus. I'm one of the few people in this room who actually does take the bus to work, typically. and. So you can wait midday if I run home for lunch. I can wait 30, 40 minutes for a bus. That's inexcusable. How complicated, complicated could it be to run a bus in the main lines every 15 minutes? And if they could do that, I think you'd find more people taking the bus. And the reality is, even though it's not in the job description, you lead trade delegations, you welcome foreign people, you do tours. And I speak a lot of languages, and I love that. In my career, I have seen the benefit of trade and tourism, and the benefit of open markets to Washington businesses, whether they're growing apples, making soft drinks, or building airplanes. Sounds good to me. You've got my vote. Thank you. Thank you. Spread the word.